Hello. Hello, and welcome to my first tutorial on Unity, the 3D game engine. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a basic area um, using just the 3D tools. You first begin by creating a terrain that actually have your environment, as you can see. You can change different things on it, such as um, you can raise and lower the terrain. So if you want to sort of hear the like hill landscape, or if you want a mountain landscape, you can change the different types of brushes that you have. And do that. Uh, you could paint it. So sort of with the paint tool, it allows you to sample the height of the a certain height that you want for um, if you want to limit it to a maximum like height so your map doesn't go too big. Um, you could smooth it so when you smooth it it will just seem like a lot smoother instead of like um, instead of just seeming quite messy. Uh, the paint texture um, this allows you to use textures that you can use preset ones or add your own ones. Say for example, I want to use uh, this uh, preset texture. I add it, and it will be put into the environment straight away. You can add as many textures as you want, and um, they're all in a quite high quality format. I think you don't want to use uh, JPEG images to. Um, You don't want to use JPEG images as your texture because it will seem very, very low quality and you'd want either BMP images or most likely um, you can get away with PNG as well. You can place trees, which is just, well, that is what is a tree. Um, Paint details, um, you can add sort of um, a grass texture or you can add a mesh for your environment. environment. And it's just a different terrain settings here. As you can see. Some being quite obvious, obviously, the um, draw distance, uh, detail distance, and more. Now, to actually get started creating the environment, now that I've shown you all the tools. Um, I'll be creating a sort of mountain landscape. So, yeah. Just be doing this quickly. This game engine is free. Like, it's a very good game engine if you're wanting to get into 3D game modeling, as it teaches you the fundamental basics, but it's quite. It's not as advanced, let's say, as um, most other 3D game engines, to be fair. But it's quite fun, like, getting into game making and doing this sort of thing. Um, creating these sort of environments for the first time. You use the shift tool to lower the environment and just hold to actually raise the environment. And now we have at least the basic layout going around the place, so we can add some other things now. So we can add like craters and stuff like that. We could add a um, path just using the paint tool. So, if we were to scrub texture, uh, let's see, use this. 
Um, we can use this texture to create a path, as you can see. And that would like branch off into different areas. Again, this is only basic. I won't be creating a massively in-depth environment, as I just want to show you the basic tools of Unity. Um, you can also add different components and game objects. So game objects, you can use um, different lights. Uh, you can add different shapes. So you can use these as buildings or something like that. So let's say I also add a cylinder. Uh, scale up. Sorry to use this as maybe a tower or something like that, as you can see. Let me just drag it over to. As you can say. Um, and then once you have everything you feel is needed for a environment, you can then add a character to actually look at the environment in the game. So if you give me a second. I'll do fine. You can change the different colours of um, when you're adding a light to the area you can add a different um, different shades of colours, sort of similar to how you would do on Photoshop or um, a paint program. So I'd say it'd be a desert area and we make it quite yellow. And then you could add a skybox to go around the area, which gives it quite a lot more uh, depth and it looks a lot nicer as well. You can get the skyboxes from, um, uh, it's mostly in the assets folders from when you start up Unity, uh, as you can see here. And you go to textures and you can add the different ones that you want, as you can see. Now, so let's say I was finished with this environment, I would create a, uh, where is it? I would add a 2D, um, not 2D, a 3D character controller, which would allow me to be able to play my game, right? Really. Which is right. Sorry, I've just got to import a package. Um, basically, when you start up Unity, some of the packages are imported. You could choose which ones uh, you'd like to be imported. And these just allow these are just the basic fundamental tools of Unity, and these allow you just to use a simple assets that it's already built in with. Just to wait. It does take quite a while. Um, when importing different things into Unity. Now that that's in, if I go into first, uh, not first person. If I go into the first person here, all it is is just a little, like, uh, small little thing, as you can see. So if I was scroll down, as you can see, it probably looks very, very tiny at the moment. But bearing in mind, you don't want it to be big as it may make your environment look quite small.
depends how you want it really, like you can have a big character but you may not want it uh, too big as it may make your environment look very very small. You can also add, as I'll show you in a second, uh, I think I need to re-import this again as, no, as it's not um, imported improperly and has not allowed the actual uh, thing to render in. Okay, I'll try that again. Why is this not showing up properly? Sorry about that. Um, if I go to... Right, I'm going to cut the footage here, and I will cut back to when we actually have the character working, so, yeah. Okay, so, sorry about that. Um, basically, Unity sometimes doesn't import things correctly, and I had to try a couple of times, and now I've actually got the character. Um, I'll just show you the tools quickly that you can use. Position is basically where he'll be on the map. So I'll just keep him here, you can actually move it around yourself and it will change, as you can see from the X, Y and Z patterns, as you can see. Uh, rotation, well how he's rotated, which way he'll be facing from the Y, X and Z axes. And scale is how big he is, obviously. Um, I'll just go into the actual ones that are important. Uh, movement, let's see. Uh, max forward speed you can set to about 3. Or the other side. Uh, max sideways speed you want that to be 20. And actually, you want that to be 50 as well. You want the sideways speed to be similar to the for forward speed. Uh, the max buffer speed to be about half. Uh, jumping, you can say it. So, obviously, um, base height. Mm, you'd want it quite. Let's just go with 10 for example. Um, sliding basically is when you stop, um, when you let go of the button if your character will slide or not. So let's just say for this tutorial we'll just have them slide. Um, but basically once everything's in your game then you could play. And it will just become out like this. And then you just use the WSD keys to move. As you can see. And this is really all it is making a basic environment and just looking around in it really in a first person kind of view. You can also add a third person um, controller so you can see it from a third person view, but with this sort of uh, tutorial, we just I was only just going over the first person controller. But yeah, that's all it really is to it. Hope this tutorial helped you and thanks for watching.